Hello there. I'm Outdoor Billy Bob Johnson and welcome to the Outdoors with Outdoor Billy Bob Johnson show. Today on our program, we look at the natural plant life here in Gainesville, Florida, a wonderful place to find hundreds of species of plants and fauna. Won't you join me on this magical journey into the swampland of Hogtown? There are many types of plants to enjoy here, including the tall brush, the leafy green ephyllitus, and the poisonous crag and avobacca bebol megalia. We must be careful, as there are many dangerous snakes and spiders that can harm us terribly unless we make a lot of noise as we pass through the foliage. Snakes and spiders do not like noise. Here is a variety of philodrodutas. With its many leaves and green leafy stems and thorns, this plant makes a wonderful hiding place for small frogs and hornets and bees. You'll know that the stem is not as thick as the Hopiliadae liagrangini hogren plants, and it is also not a flowering plant, such as the Macotermata tiscala fagusto. During the summer months, it begins to rain and nourish the soil that supports this plant. They do not like dry conditions and tend to flourish in the southernmost areas where there are moist conditions. Here you can see the Fluberia bilbans and new Taylor Belungamunga bungo bean. Here's an interesting plant over here that I'm sure you're going to love, the Ugabu Gabinga Balaratius lapidarius vine. The Ugabu Gabinga Balaratius lapidarius vine is a vine that is known to scientists as a climbing vine. You'll notice it extends from the ground all the way up to the top of this tree here. Isn't it a magnificent vine? See here underneath this leaf. These are tiny alien pods that grow secretly in the darkness of night. Soon, they will hatch into octopod alupadding dong creatures who will take over the earth. Luckily for us, their gestation period is several hundred years. Don't panic, yet. Oh fuck and shit, it's beginning to rain. We had better get out of here before our camera gets wet and ruined. I cannot stand the rain. Rain is evil. Well I hope you have enjoyed the show. Next week, we'll take a look at strange birds who live above and below ground, and can use their beaks to pick out little moles from their lairs and swallow them whole. That will be a fascinating subject. The name of this creature is the Abalakatakamamanakanadanabanaramadamalamadangamamamimimadangalupegrandasnacharivakalikotranelijutastasipatonamanazufugutuhuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyu